For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Thursday, July 6th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. Vermont State Police have identified the child who died in a UTV crash in Newfane on Saturday night. Seven-year-old Finley Conlon of Pepperell, Massachusetts, and five other children were riding on a UTV driven by his father, 40-year-old Matthew Conlon, on Lost Mile Road. They say Conlon lost control on a curve and the vehicle flipped. Finley was transported to the hospital where he later died. Other passengers suffered minor injuries and police say they do not believe Conlon was impaired. The state of Vermont has reached an agreement to settle all pending potential Kingdom Con lawsuits related to the JPEAK EB-5 projects. In a statement, the state says 64 individual plaintiffs agreed to settle all pending and potential cases related to eight EB-5 JPEAK projects. The state says the $16.5 million settlement would be paid out over three years and would be paid into the JPEAK receivership. The state will also continue to support green card pursuits by investors, and if that's successful, the state would reduce the settlement payment by $4 million. The Vermont State Police Advisory Commission has released the results of eight matters that came before them in the last half of 2022. Of the eight cases, seven arose as the result of a concern raised internally by members of the Vermont State Police, while one came to the attention of supervisors following a report from the community. Two cases involved multiple troopers. Two cases resulted in findings that the members violated Vermont State Police policy. Two of the complaints were determined to have represented no policy violation. In three other cases, the troopers involved resigned before the internal investigation review process concluded. In the final matter, the internal investigation was paused during the pendency of a criminal case. More Vermonters now have access to fresh local produce, this across the state, thanks to the Farm to Family Coupon Program. $164,000 in coupons are now available to help eligible Vermonters to buy locally grown fresh fruits and vegetables at participating farmers markets and farm stands. Coupons are issued on a first-come, first-served basis and may be used at any of the 60 markets and farm stands enrolled in the program this summer. Dial 211 for local agency contact information. WTSA Sports, a nice win by the Boston Red Sox and a nice outing courtesy of pitcher Brian Bayo last night. Bayo pitched seven strong innings to help lead Boston past Texas 4-2. to two. Those teams play again tonight with Cutter Crawford on the mound for Boston. First pitch is at 7-10. Ryan O'Hearn homer to help power the Orioles past the Yankees last night 6-3. to three. Those teams play again this evening with Luis Severino on the mound. First pitch for the Orioles and Yankees tonight is at 7.05. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Thursday, July 6th, have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.